It was this a is hard pass, Kyle. Oh, yeah. This is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. Stupid. All right. So, um, the NBA 2K25. Yep. 2K25. Is dropped the uh, top five ball handlers on NBA 2K25. Who do you think number one is? If it ain't, uh, if it ain't Kyrie, it's wrong. Yeah, I agree. It is Kyrie. Guess, oh, it's Kyrie? Yeah, guess what his ball handle on? What is it on? 99. It's on 99? Yeah. Who do you think the second one would be? Curry. Yeah, it, it's, he's second. 98? I would assume it's 98, too. It's a 97. 97? Can't yeah. argue with it. Yeah, you can't argue with it, but I think if Kyrie is a 99, Curry should be a 98. Yeah, yeah. I agree, but I don't disagree with the 97 yeah I, yeah i ain't arguing with the 97 but yeah. i think it should be 98 yeah that's if I, if if i was to choose so so the top five is what uh number one kyrie irving yeah number two steph curry yeah number three trey young with a 96 ball handle number four you ready yeah james harden 95 ball handle and number five you ready yeah Luka Doncic, 95 ball handle. To all of that, you say what? Oh, uh, it's definitely interesting. It is. It First is. of all, I think Braun should be at a 96. Braun? No, nah, I'm just playing. I was about to say, what? You stupid. <laughs> no, nah, you stupid. No, nah, I ain't even going to lie to you. I, I agree with most. Uh, well, not not agree. I can't argue against most of the list except Luca. Yeah, yeah. I think we probably could have squeezed somebody else in there. I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. Somebody uh, in the comments said, "What about Dame Lillard?" That's what I was thinking instead of yeah. Luca. Yeah, his his ball handle is good. Put Luca above Dame. No, I think I will put Dame above. You put Dame above. Yeah. Yeah. Is it just me, mm -hmm. or does Luca ball hand handle look better? Because he always get off a, a good shot after the fact. Or is he really out there getting, you know. I, I, yeah, that, that's what I think. I think that, uh, I, I don't think that as far as handling the ball go, he turns it over much. Um, and I think that they probably play off that somehow. Yeah. And, you know, it's like for a big guy, he can handle the ball really well. And you know he he when you look at him he's not supposed to be a point guard but he is. that's a fact and I think that's the same thing with James Harden it's like yeah he's not supposed to be a point guard but he is and and I, I will say James Harden ball handling as far as dribbling the ball like like crossing people up and yeah. you know psyching people out is there so I can't argue with it so I I I would I would say okay it makes sense that he's there but I do feel like somebody could be ahead of Luca. That's I think fact. Luca ball handle should be like a ninety four. Yeah, I, I feel like they should uh, separate the ball handle versus like crossovers because it is combined. Because my, my 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 earlier thing about LeBron, he handles the ball very well, mm -hmm. but you, he doesn't have a bag. Get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I might think Braun ball handle is better than Luca. I think Luca crossover is better. Yeah, no, I I'm saying. The reason Brian don't turn the ball over is because he don't have to really control the ball like that. He That's just okay. boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, he he caught me crack yeah, up when he yeah. get done with it. Yeah, but Luca is actually, you know... Luca isn't fast, so he has to finesse with the that's ball, a fact. and that's where his ball handling point. is better. Because LeBron don't have to do that; he can just power past you, rather it's powering past you or just running past you because he fast. Yeah. But Luca has to actually handle the ball to keep it away from you because he's not fast enough to just blow past you. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, James ha 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 Harden, though, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like he got that same treatment Luca got to where I think he get extra points because he can create his shot yeah. off of that crossover. Yeah, I, I agree. I more agree. More than just, yeah. I agree. Because as much as I, I don't want to argue with it because I have seen him do crossovers, but I feel the exact same yeah, way. It's like, high. yeah, 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 right there with Luca. Because I could see Dame Lillard being ahead of uh, James Harden. But yeah, yeah, as, yeah. As I far as too. like when you look at the whole game, you say, I I can see how they could put James Harden. Above. Yeah. What about? And I'm not not saying top five, but how good is Jaw handling the ball? He is pretty good. If you could give him a rating, yeah, based yeah. off of that, yeah, what would it be? I think it's probably gonna be like a ninety-one. Ninety-one. Yeah. I was thinking ninety-two, but 
I ain't even gonna gonna lie though. I think ball handle. I think if we talking straight up ball handle, I think Jaw might be better than James Harden and Luca. But I think James Harden and Luca got that advantage because they Can most of the time shot. create yeah. their shot yeah. off of that that ball dribble. handle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jaw just run to the goal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, but yeah, I think uh, sometimes uh, Jaw uh, ball handle look a little sloppy, and I, maybe that might play a factor. I feel you on that. Yeah, it uh, definitely do. I know. Um, when I was younger and I was first learning how to dribble, and I, I dribbled real well, but it looked sloppy. Mm -hmm. And you know, I could see how people would say I can't dribble, yeah. but they could never take the ball from me either. And yeah, yeah, I think I, I think that that is how some people may perceive Jaw. Yeah, I think Jaw, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of like this, this in real life too, to where. And I seen y'all do it to where you see the the move prior to it uh ha happening and you see your scoring opportunity, mm -hmm. but sometimes your your body might be a half second off ahead of the ball. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah. that That's causes that that pickup or that you know. Yeah, that it, it happens a little yeah. Out of out of turn where you yeah. wanted it to happen. Yeah, 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 that's a fact. Yeah. That happened to me a lot, but shout out yeah. to y'all though. For real. But yeah, man, Kai Kyrie, number one, ninety nine. Don't doubt it. Is yeah. it a is it a hot take saying he's the 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 best ball ha ha handler ever? I don't think so. I think yeah, at this point, ever, yeah. yeah, I think at this point, the argument is is Steph right there with him. But the the only thing to say is, I've never heard anybody not say Kyrie might be the best ball handler ever. Where would you put Iverson? Top five for sure. Top five. He may be even top three, but top five for sure. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. How about if Iverson was in the game today? I, I, I think he would be one. No. If he was in the game today? I think Iverson, for his time, had the best ball handle. Yeah, that's a fact. But when what, what Kyrie is able to do and what Steph is able to do, Iverson, to tell you himself, they they handles is better than mine. Hit me out. Go ahead. That's why I said number one because he would grow up in the era that, with them. Yeah, I was thinking about that because yeah. I was thinking I wonder if he would step his handle game up even more. I think being so. that he you know with them or whatever. Because like James Harden little step back. Mm -hmm. and some people say it's a travel. Some yeah. people say it's not. Yeah. It's like the rules now they favor. It's like you can low key trap. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why true. I think if Iverson grew up in this era, mm -hmm. I think he. Because Iverson was quick. Yeah, yeah, so real I quick, think, real quick. I think if he was in this era, I think he might be number one. Yeah. But being that he played back then, too, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, you can never really say. That's a fact. But, yeah, yeah, you make a really good point in that. Because I ha I did think about that, too. But a lot of times I just deal with what we got. That's man. a fact. What we got is I saw how great Iverson handle was. And then when Kyrie came along, I was like, dang. And then, you know, Steph, Steph too. But yeah. Kyrie. I if if you ask me, and I was a, a diehard Iverson fan, I think Kyrie got the best ball handle I ever seen. Yeah, that's a fact. No, Talk about it being on a string. I agree. That's Chris crazy. Chris Paul top five. Ball handle though, right? Mm hmm Let's take it past the 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 crossover and dribbling. When Kyrie go up for a layup, mm-hmm. This nigga man, did, did he he can do a backflip, put yeah. it between his legs, and and then and kiss, kiss it, it off, off the glass. Yeah, <laughs> now that's ball handle, dog, for real. Oh, okay, yeah. You talking about off the ground? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is freaking yeah. crazy, man. It but is. yeah, right, I, right. I would say Chris Paul. I might get, get give him a top top five too. Yeah, but yeah. Word. All right, drop down in the comments. Let us know what y'all think about two K. Dropping the uh, top five ball handles and who y'all think should be number one. Who y Do y'all think anybody that's in the top five shouldn't be there? And who do you think should replace that person in the top five if, if you take that person off? Yes, all. All right.